In this video, we will explore the FIS AC7 Active Clad Fusion Splicer, and how to set it up, perform fiber to fiber splicing, and terminate a splice on connector. What are the features of the FIS AC7 Active Clad Fusion Splicer? The FIS AC7 is an active clad fusion splicer, an affordable and performance driven solution for all your splicing needs. The AC7 has a dual camera active cladding alignment system, a 4.3 inch touchscreen monitor, extended life electrodes, and a long life battery. It can terminate cheetah and armadillo splice on connectors. With the new enhanced onboard oven, the AC7 can perform all of the FIS 900 micron cheetah splice on connectors, including ST and FC, without the need for any external tooling. The best practice for an arc calibration is always to use single mode fiber, and to do an arc calibration every time before you use it. The splicer has to adjust for altitude, humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure to set the correct power for arcing. Touch the menu icon, and then the arc test button on the bottom left. You'll see a ribbon across the screen with the words arc test ready. Next, take two pieces of single mode fiber, strip the jacket and remove the acrylic coating, clean with isopropyl alcohol, and cleave the fiber. Cleave to the standard length of 10 millimeters using the FC6 cleaver that comes with the splicer. Place the fiber past the blue pad of the V-groove, but not past the electrodes. Close the lid. When the fibers show up on the screen, press the blue arrow button. When the test is done, a green bar appears with the words, Good Arc State. Now you have completed an arc calibration on the FIS AC7 Fusion Splicer, and it's ready to splice. Before you start fiber to fiber splicing, you need to set up the splicer. First, touch the menu icon. Select the fiber type, which is the first selection on the menu. In the splice program, you can choose different options, but for this video, we are selecting single mode, which is SMF G652. And then the standard setting. Now the splicer is set up for single mode fiber. Below the fiber type selection is the heat oven setting. Select it, and for this video, we are using a 60 millimeter splice sleeve. Select 60 millimeter, and then 60 millimeter on a 900 micron jacket. Now the AC7 is set up on single mode fiber with a 60 millimeter splice sleeve. On one of the fibers, put the 60 millimeter splice sleeve on before splicing. Then, take two pieces of single mode fiber, strip the jacket and remove the acrylic coating, clean with isopropyl alcohol, and cleave the fiber. Especially fiber to fiber splicing, it's important to cleave to the standard length of 10 millimeters. Place the fiber past the blue pad of the V-groove, but not past the electrodes. Close the lid. Press the blue arrow button. After the splice, the splicer will display the splice loss. Open the lid and carefully open the fiber clamps to expose the splice and move the splice sleeve to the exposed splice. Open the oven lid and lay the fiber in the center and close the lid. The oven will melt down the splice sleeve to offer protection. The splice sleeve protects the splice in two different ways. The strength member inside is for the rigidity, since the jacket has been stripped and the compound inside to seal the exposed glass from the outside environment. The oven will go through a cooling cycle and an audible beep to let you know when it's done. Now you have completed a fiber to fiber splicing on the FIS AC7 Fusion Splicer.
Before terminating a splice on connector, you need to set up the splicer. Touch the menu icon. Make sure that the fiber type is on single mode fiber. Next is the heat oven setting. Select it and choose 40 millimeter and then 900 microns. Unique to the AC7, there is a tiny switch on the hinge plate on the right side of the oven. Push it back with a finger. This allows the user to put all versions of the FIS splice-on connectors into the onboard oven, including ST and FC. Now the AC7 is set up for splice-on connectors. First, remove the right side fiber holder with the Allen wrench that came with the cleaver, and replace with the FIS AC7 splice-on connector holder. For this video, we are using the LC Cheetah 900 micron splice on connector. Take the splice on connector and place it into the SOC holder. Take the custom 900 micron boot and slide it onto the field fiber. Then slide the 27 millimeter splice sleeve after that. Next, strip the jacket and remove the acrylic coating. Clean with isopropyl alcohol and cleave the fiber. It's important to cleave the fiber at 10 millimeters because the splice on connector stub is 10 millimeters and this will cover enough space for both sides of the 27 millimeter splice sleeve. Place the fiber past the blue pad of the V groove but not past the electrodes. Close the lid. Press the blue arrow button. After the splice, the splicer will display the splice loss. Open the lid. Open the fiber clamp. Carefully pull the fiber right out of the splicer and slide the connector out of the holder. Next, gently slide down the splice sleeve to the back of the splice on connector so it grabs both sides of the 900 micron tight buffer. Open the lid of the onboard heat oven and place the connector on the hinge plate on the right side. Close both lids. The oven will go through a cooling cycle and an audible beep to let you know when it's done. Pull out the connector and slide down the 900 micron boot to the back of the connector. Now you have completed a splice on connector termination on the FIS AC7 Fusion Splicer. Get the FIS AC7 Active Clad Fusion Splicer at FiberInstrumentSales.com or contact your FIS representative at 1-800-5000-FIS.